What is up you guys? The girls are calling. They're calling. They're like, Sergio, tell us your favorite it girl, the favorite bags for fall, winter, under $500. And best to believe, you tell me and I'm definitely going to, going to deliver. Um, you guys know that I always have the best binds ever, so let's go ahead and get started. The best handbags under 500 bucks that you can buy for this season. Some are classics, some are things, brands that I've never talked about, some of them are brands that I've talked about. It's a mixture of everything. I like in every single video, I'll be leaving the links for everything down in the description box if you guys are interested or if I find them for a lower price point versus some other retailers. I always find the better price down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Con esta list. So number one, which I've talked so many times, I feel like I'm gonna be a little repetitive, but I cannot tell you how many shopping bags of Longchamp, how many girls I've seen of Longchamp, every single time I go to the mall, every time I pull up to a shift and I go get my La La Land coffee, do a circle around North Park, I can't tell you how many times I see a Longchamp bag. Yes, girlies, Longchamp is classic. It's heritage. She's always been that girl, okay? Longchamp siempre ha sido esa niña. But for whatever reason, this, within, after September, the girls have just been eating Longchamp up. Regardless if it's the little small cosmetic case that's $95, to the traditional Longchamp ones that are 155 bucks, to the leather ones, to the in-between sizes. Longchamp guys exploded. I don't know if it's because of the economy, I don't know if it's because of the price point, I don't know if it's because people want something that's very easy, carefree. And we're, we're, and we're not talking about just a single color or age demographic. We're talking about every single color of the rainbow as far as persons wearing a Longchamp bag. And we're talking about every single age, from a 16-year-old in high school to somebody's abuelita. Like, Longchamp has just been eating the girls up. And I know Longchamp, as you know what, is so happy that they're getting this little resurgence. But yes, guys, the number one bag style is going to be anything Longchamp Le Pliage, which Le Pliage means folding in French, I believe. I could be wrong. But anything Longchamp, I'm just going to go ahead and say, is Fall Winter Sergio Secret Approved under 500 dollars anything from longchamp guys even after this little trend or fad dies longchamp's always classic they will always have this bag it's just something you can always have in the back of your closet that you can always reach out for it's always going to be there for you just like your parents or you know your dog after a long day you just know it's always going to be there for you the next one is going to be the fredia mini chris Steel bag and this bag I've actually seen a lot on social media with a lot of my favorite bloggers I hate to use the word influencers and I've just been seeing this bag on social media But I've also seen this bag um, a handful of times in person here in Dallas This one reaches for 268. It is vegan leather. So for all my vegan girlies I did not exclude you in this video. There is definitely something for you. My best friend is vegan If you've been following me for any amount of time, then you've definitely seen this bag on my page. This was my favorite bag until... <sighs> Are you joking me? Look how stinking cute this is. She's so little. This is the original Christy bag. This is from a company called Freya. So let's do a little bit of a comparison. So this is what the regular size Christy and the mini Christy look like side by side. And this is what the profile of them look like side by side. I think what allows this bag to hold so much is that it's boxy on the bottom, whereas a lot of bags are slender at the bottom. You can literally fit so much stuff in there. I don't even really have that much stuff in there right now, but I do have like a full size chocolate croissant. This is what the inside of the mini looks like when i go to new york i bring this bag with me because it has the profile of just like a regular purse but normally in this purse i can fit all of my chargers my kindle an ipad protein bar makeup for touch-ups i feel like either one would be a great everyday bag it just kind of depends like who you are and what you want to be carrying around with you but i'm so excited about this release i think it's just the perfect cute little clutch for spring but yeah i'm obsessed let me know what you guys think and what size you guys gravitate towards i have a feeling i'm going to be reaching for both sizes what I like about this bag particularly it's a good size and it's kind of like that style with the longer handles that has more of a, a, a longer base you know Alaya, Tory Burch a lot of the bigger brands are doing this 
but I think that um, Freja has just has more of like a the row type of style to it. Like I said, it's 268, so this is a bag under 300 bucks. It comes in multiple colors. I actually like a lot of the bags from this brand, but I think for me, what makes this bag pop out, especially if you don't want, if you want to start a collection or you just want to add on, is that this doesn't have any distinguishable hardware. It has like no gold, no silver on the outside. So you can wear this rose gold, black and black, silver, gold, mixed metals. You can pretty much wear any some sort of jewelry or any some sort of details on jackets on buttons on your shoes and i it will go with everything you really don't have to think too much about it it does have a flap so you know your your stuff is just not going to be thrown everywhere and this bag has just been seen all over social media and every time i see this video pop up on my tiktok or on youtube i always watch the full video and this is a handbag that i feel like i want to get into my collection just because it's such a good travel bag when i don't want to bring you know for me for like my designers i have a small ysl in silver and then i have a book i have multiple bags but you know what i mean like my Bottega vanity in gold bang bang and I feel like you know I always have to carry both because I don't know if I want to wear gold or silver something like this is perfect because I can just not bring both of those bags and just have something that goes with everything so this bag is definitely on my list I definitely love it and if you have it I would definitely love to hear what you think about it down in the comment section down below but this is a bag brand that I have not talked about but I feel like it's a brand that will be soon allegedly be added into my collection. Number three is going to be the Coach Brooklyn bag. Okay, doesn't this match my skin tone in this polo that I'm wearing? I'm also in a Ralph Lauren phase, so just changing a, just a little bit. Okay, allegedly cannot confirm or deny, but the Brooklyn bag. So there are three sizes in the Brooklyn bag. This is in the medium size. This is like in a butterscotch color. I think this is only available on the Dillard's website, so I'll make sure to leave it down below. Uh, I love this color and I love this size. The smaller one is 225 and it has a chain with a shorter strap on it. And then uh, the larger one is $500. So regardless if you want the small, medium, which is this one, which is 295 or the large one, all three of them are essentially under 500 bucks. But I feel like for every day, this is like the perfect size because you can still fit like a book. You can fit like a mini iPad, you can fit your sunglasses, you can fit your car keys, you can fit a little bit more than the smaller Brooklyn size. And I think for me, for my proportion, like 5'11", I think this one goes well with my body frame. And I knew that I wasn't aware of this more in the winter so I, I love the drop of this because it does it, it makes it more comfortable when i wear more of a bulky jacket or a coat or a blazer it's just going to make it seem a lot more comfortable to wear it so if you guys have been looking at the brooklyn bag i think it's still one of the hottest bags of the season under 500 bucks coach truly never goes out of style maybe some of their monogram and super novelty pieces but something like this a clo a coach classic a coach original a true american you know handbag brand like this i feel like never really goes out of style and this is kind of like the long shop where you can throw it in your closet and it will become a really good uh piece to have in your wardrobe i'm going to get this uh hot stamp soon uh, i'll probably bring you guys along in the vlog for this but never really goes out of style so i do like this a lot the next one is going to be the coach empire so this one does go all the way to 700 but they do have the small size um, for $450 and this is kind of giving me like St. Laurent Sac de Jour. I know people were comparing it to the Roe the Margot. I don't think it kind of looks like the Margot. I think if anything it kind of gives me more of that sophisticated, elevated like St. Laurent Sac de Jour. Like a very traditional handbag that is just very classic that you can wear. You can either dress it down or like make it super yourself with a bunch of charms. Or you can also wear, wear it very clean with like classic suiting, a classic like wool dress, like this is something that you can dress up or dress down. I'll put chains, leather straps, 450, this is under 500 bucks with tax. Um, the Empire and the Brooklyn have probably have been Coach's most popular styles this season. I will say, I know there are like the Times Square bags and stuff. I'm not really into the big C hardware as much. I love the tabbies. I will always be a tabby lover. But something about just it saying pure simple coach on it with hot stamped or regardless of what color it is, gold or silver or whatever. I kind of like this a little bit more. Even like, you know, when like some of them have like the big coach plaque. I think I like more of the hot stamped on it. I think it looks more minimal and I think it looks more chic. And I feel like it kind of goes well more with my aesthetic. I think the ones that have the really big 
metal hardware on it i'm starting to a little bit kind of go away from that um because i feel like it sometimes takes away from my outfit but the old leather coach bags are something that i have been definitely loving and enjoying so if you are a coach lover if you guys been wanting to add coach i think either or of those bags either the brooklyn or the empire i think are really great choices both under 500 bucks and yeah i mean coach has always been that girl coach is killing it and this is the only brand on this list that I included two of. So the fact that I included two of it says that it's that girl. Number five is going to be from Madewell. And Madewell is another brand that I have never really talked about a lot of their channel. Yes, they're transport towed. They have a lot of core items, but they never resonated with my personal style. But something about this season with Madewell, or maybe my style has become a lot more tamed. They have the Madewell studded bucket bag. Okay, this is a classic bucket bag but with a twist on it and these like beautiful silver studs they come in other colors and other variations but a handbag that's actually made well the brand is made well but it's actually made well for under 200 bucks i think you cannot go wrong with this they also have the matching belts so you can buy like a belt and a bag for under 300 dollars like under 200 dollars for like a set you can wear it all season and this bucket bag they like i said they don't have them with the studs you can get them in the regular leathers but it's just such a classic bag that you can wear with a coat, with a jacket, with a dress. Like, really not go wrong with this. And this is my favorite Madewell bag that I have ever seen in the last, ever. Like, I have not seen a Madewell bag that I have ever liked or that said, oh my god, I need, I need that Madewell bag. Like, oh my god, let's go get that hot Madewell bag. Like, that never came out of my mouth, you know what I mean? But when I saw this one right here, oh, best believe I said that Madewell bag will go well with these little Steve Madden the row looking boots, which I'll leave down below as well. Oh my god, it's that girl. It's giving what it needs to give. So therefore, I included it in this list because I want you guys to look good. And this is probably like the lowest price point of bags other than the Longchamp that's in this list. So this goes ahead and shows you like this is probably the best value of, uh, far from the Longchamp bag that I feel like is really, really great. So Madewell studded bucket bag, sprinkle, sprinkle, is that girl. So go ahead and check it out. And I did do a contemporary shopping vlog. And I'll probably insert some clips of it here where I actually tried on the bag. And I'm 5'11", about 160 pounds. This fit very proportionately. If you're a tall girly, this may be a bag for you. But you can also adjust the straps and play around with it. But you can't really beat this for under 200 bucks. Like, in serio. You really, really can't. Number six is going to be the Ralph Lauren Polo ID bag. I've been a Ralph Lauren girly ever since I was baby. Like if I go back and I look in photographs as I was a child, I was always into Ralph Lauren. But I think Ralph Lauren is more resonating with my personal style. Now, it's not as crazy as it used to be. I definitely have had my style evolution. And uh, this Polo ID has been out for a few years. But I think this, this season, they've done it like in camel suede, and navy suede. They just done so many variations in this Ralph Lauren ID bag that I feel like now, you know, other than the Ralph Lauren Ricky bag, which is that's a Ralph Lauren collection bag, I feel like this is like one of their classics. You know, they stuck around with this design for a few seasons now. So I feel like this is a style that that they're going to that is permanent, but that they're going to keep making forward in different colors and variations and textures throughout the couple seasons. So if you do buy this bag, best to believe, especially like in a suede, you can bring this out next year. Uh, I've seen this bag a, hand, a few times. I think the only place you can buy this bag in store in DFW is actually the Ralph Lauren store in Highland Park because I didn't see this like in Macy's or Dillard's or Neiman's. But uh, I have seen this a handful of times. Uh, I remember I saw a compliment to somebody while I was getting a matcha latte and I told them, can I try it on? You know, obviously, you know, sometimes if I strike a good conversation, I may ask, you know, you can, you can keep my phone while I try it on. And it, it was really good. I really like it. And for 500 bucks, this is a recognizable bag because it has the pony on it. But it has these elements that you don't really see on a lot of other bags. And I feel like this is also a very bag where you can see somebody young or somebody older carry this bag. If you're, they have them in different sizes, but the small ones, the the introductory price points, so it's under 500 bucks. I'm gonna recommend it. But if you do like this bag. They do have bigger ones, but it does go over that $500 price point. I've been really liking this, and like I said, this has been stuck around Ralph Lauren for a few seasons, so I think it's going to stick around for even a few more seasons. Who knows? Allegedly. Cannot compare, cannot confirm, nor deny. It's suede season, and today we'll be revisiting the Polo ID bag. This is the Polo ID mini shoulder bag in the seasonal suede, and it's actually available in four different colors. There's a 
black, a cinnamon, a light tan, as well as this chocolate one. It has a top zip closure as well as two main compartments. Aside from being able to wear it as a shoulder bag, you can actually also convert it into a croissant shape. You can convert the bag from a saddle silhouette into this kind of wristlet. And you can also kind of carry it as a top handle bag like this. This suede version of the Polo ID bag is just seasonal and it's super hot right now. Number seven is going to be another handbag brand that I have not talked about on my channel. Just because I have not been posting doesn't mean I don't keep up with what the girls are wearing, what the girls are unboxing. I see it all. And this is the Sagma Luna bag that comes in at 300. So this is going to be for my girls, for my gays that love a versatile bag that want something to do it all. Maybe just to bring one bag like on a weekly trip, a weekend trip. Just a bag that you can take from date night to the city, to the club, to a concert, to you know, a, you know, just anywhere. Go to Chuck E. Cheese, uh, go to Six Flags. Like this is a bag that you can do it all. Uh, because you can have it a design where you can wear it as like a beautiful evening bag. You can wear it with the longer strap. You can just have so much variation. It comes in so many different colors. And I think for this, for $350, uh, under $400 after tax, I think that this is a really great price point for a bag. I've seen this bag a handful of times. I haven't seen it. I know I do see this bag a little bit more on social media than I do in person, but I think it's somewhat a good thing. But the Sagma Luna bag has definitely been a bag that I like uh, a lot, but I think I like the functionality and how it's easy to style and how easy it is to transition to all these different type of things, especially if you're a light packer. Honestly, this and a big toe um, is all you need to bring in a trip because you can definitely make this bag whatever you need it to be. The Sangmont Luna bag. A few of you guys were asking about this. Here is a closer look. It's a grained leather. This is the interior. Holds its shape perfectly even when it's empty. Holds a nice amount of stuff. You've got the dumpling shape. You can hold it like this. You can pop it through your hand. This outfit that I have on, I would literally wear it like this. You can also do is take that strap you just removed feed it through and then you have this wristlet style hold it like that and pop your arm in it this way you can leave this hanging and then just hold your bag like this with this extra piece which is quite cool i feel like that works what do you think do you think i like it like that you have a crossbody it's so cool and you can change the length of this it's the same grain leather same thickness this is how it sits as a crossbody really nice with casual outfit. but sagma is not a bag that i've talked about a lot as far as the brand but best believe i'll be talking about it a little bit below i think they've reached out in the past I'm gonna check my emails, but we may be able to work something out, okay, allegedly. Uh, Sagma Luna bag, yes, I love her, and if you follow any account on social media, you have probably seen this bag at one given point. And if you guys have this bag, definitely let me know down below, or any of these bags, I would love to hear your commentary or any favorites that you feel like I missed in this video. Number eight is going to be the one and only Mr. Mark Jacobs. I really haven't talked a lot about, a lot about Mark Jacobs ever since I left Mark Jacobs in November last year. That's a whole, that was such a hot mess, but that's a whole other video for a whole other day. But there, <laughs> there is one Mark Jacobs bag that I have been loving, and no, it's not a tote bag. This is Mark Jacobs Clover bag, and this one retails for 250. They do have some other variations that are a little bit more, but this bag for 250, I think you get a lot of great value, and the girls have been girling this bag. I have been, I feel like I've been seeing this bag a little bit more than the Snapchat nowadays. Uh, the Snapchat's always that girl, but this Clover one said, oh no, I'm gonna step you up. So not only is it lower than the snapshot, it's 250. It comes with a uh, shoulder strap. And what I like about it is that it has leather and chain. But what I like more versus some other shoulder bags from other brands is that the drop on this is a little bit longer. So this is going to be perfect. And I, I that's why I made sure to include bags like the Freja and this Coach one that has longer drops because I know in the winter we're wearing our Richard Super Puffs, we're wearing our jackets, we're wearing our coats. So sometimes if it's a little smaller, like let's say my Saint Laurent, 5 the 7 bag the drop on that's a little bit smaller and i feel like it kind of like i can't really wear it on my shoulder with a big jacket and something like this with a longer drop makes it more easy and more comfortable to wear it throughout the whole day tonight so this clover one i do appreciate that the drop of this bag is a lot longer than other bags that i've seen that are shoulder bags especially from mark jacobs and it also has a longer strap to wear it as a longer shoulder bag or a crossbody, or you can take both out and you can wear it as a little clutch for dinner. My favorite color in this is kind of like this kind of like burgundy patent leather bag. I believe it's sold out on the Mark Jacobs website, but I believe in wholesale accounts, um, it's still available. So I'll make sure to leave that down below. This is my favorite color. I feel like this is one of the colors of the season, but if you've been wanting to add maybe not a snapshot into your collection, I think that this is a really great alternative. 
under 250 to be honest you can't really go wrong with this at all and I, I think that this is priced well it's super versatile and I, I really 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 enjoy this bag like I love to see the girls girling up this clover bag and I like the name of it well the clover Mark Jacobs bag under 250 this is a good Christmas gift as well which we'll do a Christmas gift guide later on number nine is going to be Negeti and this is another brand that I have not talked about Negeti St. Bart's bag St. Bart reminds me of a summer bag but that's either here or there so Negeti does like this kind of like neoprene woven bag it's a company based out of New York and I have been seeing this carried in all the major retailers so I have been able to personally touch play and feel this handbag Retails for $285, so it's under $300. Bucks. And something about the Negeti bags, it has kind of like that Bottega feel, but without the Bottega price tag, because it does have that interlocking woven. But what I like about this is that this is very lightweight, it's very carefree. You can put your whole life in it. I feel like you can hand wash it. I feel like, honestly, like I've thrown my long chunks in the washing machine. I feel like you can even throw this in the washing machine. I'm not telling you to do it, but I feel like you can if you need to. But Negeti bags is something that I do see myself actually adding one. They have this really pretty olive St. Bart bags that I really want to add. I think it's just perfect for my laptop when I want to put maybe like a little cashmere scarf inside of it. Um, I can put like a small cosmetic bag. It's a good carry all for the girl that's on the go. You know, sometimes like I love MZ Wallace, but I feel like MZ Wallace for me, it has too many nicks and crannies. Sometimes I do like an open pit bag. Maybe like for example like this just has a pocket. I'm okay with just have, having one pocket no other compartments because I can have my other little pouches and little stuff to put in there. But Negeti has not been getting talked about enough on YouTube so I want to show Negeti some love. St. Bart bags and who knows Negeti I may be coming for your edges. Let's review the Negeti St. Bart's tote. Both the large and medium are top handle carrying totes only with a snug fit when placed on my shoulder but very comfortable placed on my forearm. The mini does come with an adjustable shoulder strap, allowing it to be carried by the top handles or crossbody. The petite, the smallest of the four, has a strap as well with very small top carrying handles, making it carrying only if not using the removable strap. Let's see what fits. The large can carry all the things, making it great for travel or even for a diaper bag. The medium houses all your essentials plus perfectly, making it a great everyday tote. The mini, while much smaller, can still fit a full-size wallet, keys, sunglasses, and phone comfortably. The petite is definitely only for essentials. I may be getting a Negeti bag in the near future. And if you guys have had anything from Negeti or Negati, definitely let me know down below. But um, when I tell you, people have been loving this bag. And I will say this bag is more like middle age to older people have been wearing this bag. I really haven't seen too many people under 30 wear this bag. Um, so, but I, I, But nonetheless, I do like this bag. And then the last bag, which is number 10, which is another brand that I have not talked about. The Verified Hobo Bag. I believe this is a brand from New York as well. It retails for $278. And something about the suede, guys. Like, ugh. Oh my god. Something about the suede and the leather details of this bag. Chef's kick. The lock on it suede the leather you know something about this i like now they do do different sizes like the one that i like is 298 but just something about this is it's just giving luxurious it's giving elevated it's giving i've never seen that bag before let me give them a compliment on that bag you know what i mean that's what it's giving it's giving like i haven't had a haircut in like two weeks but yet i have this hot bag and someone's gonna stop me oh my god your bag is awesome you see it and i'm like yes honey Here's my bag. Look at this verified bag. Look at it. I want to tell you all about it. Sometimes I do like to carry kind of conversation starter bags because I genuinely like to talk to people. If you guys have ever met me, you guys know I can run my mouth a lot, even though in the beginning I may be a little shy. But this bag I love, and if there's one bag on this list that I do want to add, it is probably going to be the verified bag just because I already have a coach bag, I already have long shops. Um, but I would say maybe the Freja, the Segmont, the Verified Bags, those are brands that I've not talked about. So I want to add more handbag brands that I have not talked about onto my channel, like physically have it versus, you know, brands that I've already had in the past. But yeah, guys, these are going to be the top 10 hottest eight bag girls for fall and winter under 500 bucks. I think that this is the perfect list. We added a little bit of bigger bags, smaller bags. You know, and all the different types of price points, even within this under 500 bucks. We even had bags under 200 bucks. 
So let me know if you want me to do one in designer or any type of these lists because I feel like I personally go through these lists myself. I, uh, I look at the items, I look at videos, I look at people. Like I said, I sell accessories for a living, so you know, I eat all this information up. I'm living for it, I'm here for it, so let me know if you guys want me to do another one of these, or if you have any of these bags, I would definitely love to hear it in the comment section down below. The coffee is coughing this morning, so that's why I'm a little bit more excited than I usually am. But now I decided, you know, I should probably take a Red Bull or something before I film videos, so I can be a little bit more energetic. So I say thank you, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'll be leaving everything down in the description box. And let me know what other accessory content you want to see on this channel. Because whatever you tell me, I will deliver. You guys know that's the handshake that we do. Y los miro hasta la próxima video. Los quiero, los quiero mucho. Sprinkle, sprinkle.